Last week, the National Identification and Registration Authority issued a letter to the Indian Association of Uganda calling upon them to register their members in compliance with Section 5 and 54 of the Registration of Persons Act. In an interview with NTV, Bredia Stephen Quirincha, the Director of Operations at the Authority, revealed why NIRA has embarked on registration of resident foreigners. If you live in a situation where you are citizens and aliens are not registered, you cannot plan. The, by and large, the, the major factor would be to help government to plan. Aliens, uh, we shall be issuing them with uh, uh, alien identification numbers and alien identification cards. Nira also explains why they have started the registration process with the Indian Association of Uganda. Uh, and that is to give us a chance to um, test our system uh, working through an organized group that has a sizable population. Earlier members of the Indian community said they welcome the registration process but they expressed their concerns about the $100 fee which they consider to be high. They called upon NIRA to revise the fee downwards because they say they already pay a lot of money to the immigration department for their residence and work permits. You know pre-72 we used to do the registration in such forms and uh, at the same time uh, the fee at that time was uh, only 15 shilling. Now, 15 shilling during those days, I probably assume it could be $10 or $15. But uh, paying $100, I think it's a lot of money. These are fees that are embedded in the Registration of Persons Act, and they are not something that uh, we came up with as an institution. And they are the fees we are working with now. And until there is another discussion, uh, at, a, at a legislative level to uh, address the matter of the fees, that is what we expect uh, to be paid. Nira also says that they are currently working on a system through which they can share information with government agencies like the Directorate of Citizenship and Immigration Control in a bid to eliminate multiple registration. For now, the National Identification and Registration Authority is going ahead with the process of registration of members of the Indian community before broadening the exercise to include other resident foreigners. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.